another little job. This time, it's the prop shaft. So that needs cleaning up. These joints need looking at and inspecting and we'll see if anything needs replacing on it. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's nearly Easter. The prop shaft. So, uh, we've got it in three sections. This end bolts up to the front diff. Um, you've then got a universal joint and a support. Centre section, another universal joint, torque tube at the back, and then that bolts onto the rear diff on there. Um, I've had a look at this and all of these joints that we've got are just so tight. Nothing, there's no flex anywhere in anything. There's no horrendous, you know, looseness which will cause clunking, anything like that. Um, there is a CV joint on the front here. I'm going to take that off. We're going to clean that up and have a look at it. But again, it's all very tight. Um, get a new boot on there, I think. But I'm, you know, tempted to say that I'm not going to do a great deal to that except for get it all cleaned up and uh, repainted. Um, it is an item that is going to be reasonably easy to get out if we do have an issue in the future. But at the moment, the priority is trying to get the car up and running. So I'm not going to pull it all to bits and put new bearings in just for the sake of it on that. Um, we're just going to give it a light uh, refurb on the surface, if you like. So let's pull that front CV off and see what she looks like. Fairly standard fare, so it's got a little circlip which locates into that little groove on the end there uh, and it just slides off basically. And then the boot just basically has a metal edge which goes onto the back of the CV and then uh, that just has standard clips, one which goes around here and the other one which goes around that part of it. But um, I think you can get the whole of this unit as a boot but I'm going to have a look at that. I think if it's the right size I might even have one of those in stock so we'll just have a look and see what we've got. But let's get that uh, CV cleaned up and we'll have a look and just see if there is actually any play in there. There's the front CV joint out of the parts washer. Um, mm, there's a little bit of wear in there. It's nothing horrendous, it's more um, marking than anything else so um i am going to go with putting that back together and we'll see where we are the bearings themselves are pretty good but yeah there is a bit of marking in here but when you actually run your finger down it you can't really feel anything so uh it is something that perhaps will be changed in the future but for now we'll put it back together one thing that i would say though is that um our friend here which is the front kind of seal which bolts onto the um, onto the CV joint there on the prop shaft side, and it's got that rubber seal on the inside. You can see it there on the inside it that seal is um, foobard, and I'm guessing that what's happened in the past is that this is our original boot. Looking at the documentation, it doesn't have that boot on it, um, and I'm guessing that that seal failed, and somebody's fitted this retrofitted that boot on it to contain. The goo, the grease, I should say, the greasy goo goo from spraying out all over the bottom of the car. Um, I've got a new boot here, which I'm going to stick on that. But um, I may just replace this. This part here is only 17 quid, something like that. So I think I may well get a new one of those. Uh, and I might even put the boot on it in any event. And we've got a double, double situation there. Um, and then we'll just reassemble that and pack it all up. But I'm pretty sure that for the... Time being, that is going to be fine. And then we'll just have to uh, cross the bridge when we come to it. If it fails at a later date. On the prop shaft end, and this is obviously at the front of the car, this is where that um, seal sits, the one that's failed. That goes into there and then that gets zip tied around there. The new boot that's on it comes across to here. So I'm pretty sure that that is not a factory part. But in any event, um, I can't see it doing any harm having the new seal and the boot on it at the same time. You know, where's the harm in that? So what I've done now is 
Um, just put a bit of deep grease on it. Got the there's a bit of cack at this end of it. Um, you can see there that's the original paint underneath. Actually, it's not in bad nick. Most of the dirt on here is accumulated because it's been lying on the workshop floor. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, so I've given that a degrease, got the worst of it off, and then down at the sharp end, we've just started to go over it with the wire wheel in the angle grinder. And uh, don't get your fingers in that. But in any event, it's basically taken off all the crud and stripped it back down to the metal. And I've just got in amongst the UJ there as well. Again, the UJs are very good. There's no clunks, there's no nothing loose. The bearings are good. So we are just going to leave it all well alone. But I'm going to clean off the middle section next, work my way back down. And then when we've got to the end there and that's all clean, we'll give it a coat of paint. Whew, I'll tell you what, that's heavy work on that grinder. But you can see the results of it now that we've managed to get off pretty much all of that grime right the way around and down the prop shaft uh, all the way to the end. So the old wire wheel is a fantastic bit of kit, but you do need to make sure you've got proper glasses on. There's a lot of shards of wire come firing at me. Now this um, tube support, uh, which has got a, a rubber um, in the middle there, which is in absolutely fantastic condition so i'm happy with that we haven't got to replace that but what you do need to do when you're cleaning it is i think it's mounted about here somewhere um i cleaned up each side and then just basically give that a tap across with a rubber mallet so you can clean the bit underneath it don't leave that bit because that's obviously where the rust occurs because that's where the water trap is and then obviously we can slide that back up once she's painted so probably what i'll do is i might um get that up one end get the other end painted up all in the right place. When that's dried, slide her over it, paint the rest of it, and then slide her back into the correct position. But as she looks now, she is ready for a bit of degreasing and a bit of paint. Right, well this is what I've used for spraying. This is really good stuff. Um, industrial application paint basically, so it, it covers well and uh, of course when you're spraying it you can get into all the nooks and crannies and um, that is the end result so basically we have now got ourselves a nice sprayed up prop shaft so i've just got to let this dry a little bit and then i can move this up the shaft and then spray the bit that i'm being able to get and i do need to turn the um, um the torque tube over there just so that we can spray the underside of that um, what I've done is I've set it on these blocks and this is a, just a neat little trick here so that basically you can just roll the prop shaft over and spray the other side as you work your way around it so dead simple to do that and it means you can get all of the uh, all the shafts and all the mechanisms done at the universal joints get that all done in one go so when that's dried off I'll flick it over do the back side on that end tube and then she will be ready to go back on the car In other news, the block is back from the engineers. Uh, so it's just had a skim across the top there, off the deck, uh, and we've also had it honed inside. Um, he's very impressed actually. He said it is in remarkably good condition for that age. So doesn't need a rebore, all standard size. Uh, all we need to do is just um, get the head a light skim on that as well to match her up but um, there it is the bare bones so the next job on that really is to get that into the um, cleaner it's at the moment it's got a kind of really sticky film on here which is just protecting it from uh, from any rust or anything so uh, that'll go into the ultrasonic cleaner and then the next job is get it all cleaned up on here as well and get it painted happy days Core plugs, freeze plugs, frost plugs, whatever you call them, they are all there for a purpose. Anyway, we're going to get these out and we're going to replace them all because what we don't want to do is end up putting the engine back together and then one of them going when they're in the back of the car there. So I'm going to tap those out 
and we'll uh, just see what they look like. So what I've done there is I've just given that a little tap here with the chisel just on the side of it just enough that it twists it over and then we can get a pair of grips on that end and just pull it all the way out there. Quite simple really so just tapping it on one side it'll uh, it'll spin it over and then we can grab it out simple as. So get the pliers on it and we just give it a bit of a twist and leave her up and out she comes dead simple. That's actually when you look at that it's actually not in bad condition at all which again leads me to believe that there's been some work done on this engine but anyway we're going to take them all out job done <coughs> engine gasket set so we think it's got most of the parts that we need in there all sorts of different seals and stuff like that um, valve guide stem seals blah 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 and uh, I know what it didn't have though were the main crank seals, the front and back crank seals. So I've ordered those separately and they're in that box right there. So in here we have got seals for the crank, front and back. We've got some uh, <coughs> thrust bearing didgeridoodars and we've got four sets of rings we've got big end and main shells as well so that is a very exciting box we like that box a lot that box can come again engine block it's just been in the ultrasonic cleaner and it's now back so what I am going to do is pop a bit of uh, oil down those bores and on the bearing surfaces just so she's okay with a bit of a rag and then um, we're going to get her mounted up onto the um, engine stand so uh, she can have a bit of a look at that clean off some surfaces where we've got some old gaskets and things like that we'll take off those bits and then what we'll do is uh, get her ready for a bit of paint <laughs> 